Hello, beautiful people. It's my pleasure to welcome you to another interesting episode of Talk to Be. It's Talk to Be, baby. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here again today. Day. and of course you know me you're going to learn a lot today because i have a beautiful guest in the house i have somebody with an interesting story but before then have you subscribed to this channel if you haven't it's high time you do that don't be a stranger in the house please subscribe to this channel i beg of you and also don't forget talk to be it's not about celebrities alone it's about everyone out there who has got an interesting story who has got an experience who has got something to say a lot of people have bottled up so many things from the past and you're looking for a place to to air it out talk to be is a beautiful avenue for you to do that either you are a celebrity or you are a non-celebrity we are all a star on our own so feel free to send us a dm on our official page talk to be 5000 on instagram my name is abiola adebayo akirinde before i introduce my guest let me quickly go for a commercial break i'll be back shortly don't go away Talk to be, share your experience. You're welcome back. You're still on Talk to be. All right, Al, because of a few comments that I've seen on Talk to be, some people just come and say, Oh, why do, why do you, why, why are you covering our face? Why are you covering their faces? Why don't you let them, if they know they're not going to review their face, why is she on the program? Why is she on the show? No, what we do on Talk to Be is we share our experiences with others to learn from. If there is a need for us to hide their identity because of stigmatization, because of their children, because of their family, for security reasons please we do that on talk to be get used to it it depends on what our guest wants our ultimate desire is that they get their lives put together and everything is going on fine with them their identity can be reviewed if they want to and as long as you can hear them clearly you can hear the story please do not bother yourself about their faces okay i just want to make that clear before i unveil my guest because our identity is also not revealed but please pay attention to what she has to say i won't bring anybody here that does not have something to share so if i bring them it means they have something to share but we do not want to reveal our identity for one reason or the other but wait a minute I get a lot of DMs, a lot of messages from female. What happened to our men? Is it that you people don't have a story? Or is with girls alone? No, please. I don't want us to make talk to be a female agenda. Please. Every gender has got a story. So if you are a man out there, okay, maybe men just want to man up so much you don't want to say it you don't want to share your experience because you feel you are a man sometimes you have to let it out okay please say it out all right let's meet my guest i'm sorry i have to do all of those to let us know what we have here today because of those questions and i will not be able to reply all so i think i should just make it clear on with this episode thank you so much for the love it's been massive i appreciate you all god bless you let's meet my guests together how are you ma'am i'm very well thank you ma so happy to see you same here ma <laughs> okay so because we're not um, going to be revealing your identity we're not going to introduce you so much but you give us a name just maybe your middle name but some a name okay. what's your name 
Adiola is my name. Ma. Adiola is your name. Yes, All right, Adiola, let's go to your story. Yes, ma'am. What do you do? Where are you from? Okay, I'm from Oyo State, Irua okay. precisely. Oh, okay. And I'm a therapist. I work with kids with special needs. Okay. So that's what I do for now. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, tell us all about your story. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm Adiola by name. I'm 23 years old. 23 years old. Yeah. Okay. And I was born and brought up in Lagos State. Okay. Okay, so I'm from a family of two. Okay. Two girls. All right. So obviously, I'm the last child of oh, wow. two kids. Okay. Um, growing up was fun. Okay. Growing up was fun. But while growing up as well, I've learned that men tend to cherish um, male gender than that of female gender in the sense that you permit me to speak English and Yoruba at the same time, but please, please ma. But speak more of English, okay. but don't worry, you can, you can okay, go ahead. Ma. Okay, don't worry, I just want you to be free. Okay. Express yourself. Thank you very much, ma. So, as I was saying, while growing up, I tend to understand that men cherish um, men cherish male gender than female in the sense that um, because we are kids uh, because we are female my elder sister and i and my dad would be like ah you're only able to give me female children. So because of that, I'm not going to take the responsibility I'm supposed to take. So my mom was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm well, you know the reason and the reason is best known to you that you have given me these children. So I will try my pos possible best to do what is expected of me to give them good training. So while growing up, truthfully, she tried her best. I attended private school all through my schooling. I never attended government school. So there was a particular issue that happened then when we had to relocate. We had um, an apartment problem and we had to relocate because even the apartment we were staying before, my mom was the one paying and my dad was also living in that apartment as well so when we had to relocate that was around 2016 and i was 16 year old yeah, then time. yes at then so my mom could not gather up the money so fast and we need somewhere to stay so as at then i finished secondary school that's 2016 too okay so while i was just i was passing by i guess then i saw a vacancy outside a church that they needed a teacher or something so i went there and i applied for the teaching job so i started teaching there as i then we still don't have anywhere to to stay at times i'll go to the church to sleep and all so while i was working there the owner of the school itself so i explained the situation and all to him that oh this is what i am facing there's nowhere to stay my parents and all and he was like okay i would like to meet my parents and he told me and all and i said that's not a problem yes. so i took him to my mom i took him to my dad that this is the person i'm working with and he said he's willing to I am accommodate me in his house. Okay. And my parents are like, oh, no problem. Thank God we know where you are staying. We know the person whom you were staying with. So during that time, it was good. Everything was going on smoothly. We were fine. Then that was when I got exposed to sex because I was staying with him then. But I could not. Okay. How do you mean? You got exposed to sex. How? I got exposed to sex in the, the guy wasn't that married. He wasn't married. No, he wasn't married. So you were the only one living with him. Yes, I was the only one living with him. So I think because I was staying with him, I don't know. Maybe he decided to take advantage, or because he was not married as at then. So when I started living with him, we started having sex. 
and then even there are times that i'll be at work and you just give me the key to to the house that i should go to the house and wait for him people that were around were not aware of what was happening okay. but they knew amongst all of them i was his favorite okay so sorry at that time how old were you i was 16 then Oh, yeah, I was 16. Okay. So your yeah. parent left you yeah. to stay with a man at the age of 16. 16 yes. A man that wasn't married. married. Yes. Okay. And I could not really blame my mom though because she has no power over it. Mm. So we continued having sex. And when I turned 17, I got to realize that does this man um, like does he really want to help me? or he's just taking ad- advantage it's of the fact father. that I was staying with with him. So I called him one day and I was like, and this person I'm talking about is a pastor, a man of God, because that school that he has, he, he, he has that school in the church. His elder brother owned the church where he was schooling. So he asked the elder brother to just give him a space inside of the church so we can be managing okay yeah so i now told him that i'm i am 17 and truth be told i want your mama so would you pray that all of these things that you have done to me would you pray that your sister or any of your children should pass through all of this thing that you've done and he was like oh he's sorry it's just because when he needed it there was nobody available and all and blah 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 so i now told him that as at this point i i don't think it's something i, I will be willing to do anymore that i just think i would i would sort myself and then i was earning ten thousand naira. then if i'm not mistaken so he was sorry, like oh. how old was that man then he was 31. Then 31. Was 31. You were 16, 16 17. 17 yeah. Okay. So he was like, ah, no, you can't go. If you go, what would you tell your mom? What would you tell your dad happened? And I was like, don't worry about that. They are my parents. I would I would know what to, to tell them. So I went to my mom then. She was staying with her sister then. So when I got there, I could not even open up to her that this is what i've been going through this is what i've been facing and my mom she's this kind of emotional person when you tell her things she will feel bad about it so i just kept it to myself i didn't say anything so when i got there i told her oh, mom i don't think i'll be willing to stay with this person anymore and she was like ah kilo day kilo because the even as my daddy is irresponsible let me use that word there are, there are times that when his mind does not go with someone, his mind does not go with that mm. person. So when I brought him to the house to introduce him that this is the person I'll be staying with for some time till we get an apartment. And he was like, okay, since he's a man of God, I feel you are safe with him. Nothing is going to happen to you and all. So I just told my mom that there's no big deal. I just feel King was okay, Raja so i had to leave the place but i was still working under him but working under him was hell for me because you'll be like or when he does some things to me at times i'll feel like is it because this guy has taken advantage of me is that the reason why is behaving this way so i had no choice I, I had to leave i left the church i left his place of work so i moved on so fast forward to 2020 then my sister was about to gain admission into a kid so State University. when you left him yes mom where did you go to you went back to your mom's place yes i went to my mom's place my uh, our sister's place because she was staying there as at that time where and was your dad funny enough my dad has married someone else and it was not obvious to us we never knew he had married someone else but did he move did he move out he, of the house he moved out of the house okay 
But when my mom gathered the money for the apartment, he came back. So when he came back, one of my mom's friends that knew the lady he got married to, okay, now told my mom that ah, eh, Mori Okoyini be to ti feshe, eh, mommy mu eh, or what they call it in Yoruba introduction. Ah, my mom was like, "Could possible? Oh, share any? Could possible?" So when he came back, my mom now threw the question to him and was like, "Ah." Lagbaja, what's up? We worry any bit. But if fair fair, I will add. He denied that mm. there was nothing or such, mm. and oh. Um, so one fortunate day, I was not there, but my mom told me that she was coming inside, and then he was receiving a call that. Muti sofo ekpe mu magba shobu yifu e mu kofe kobi ni yi koti e shiye koti e fumilo wo di e. Ah, and my mom was like. She said she was still calm. She still did not say anything. Can we just call Solo to call Land? And what will he? Can we be call away? That he went to the bathroom. Then the phone rang again. Then she now picked the call. Now when she picked the call, it was the son that picked it. So the lady already had a child okay. for him. That the child was not saying on the phone that. Daddy, daddy, ah, uh, mufe, eh, uh, mufe, ringy, kini ko kini ko, da wa fara ba ne je ko wole, kwe ba to wa wole, kwa wa so bi ya, e ku ori re, omo tun tun te bi o, e mo ya pa wo bi, o ko re, and he was still denying the fact that no, it has never happened, and blah blah blah. My mom was just like, surely, wa la ti ti e niye, oh, be wa ba mi ni le, shin shin. Oh, they really love me. So there's no problem about that. You are lolori e kunto ni kwa be far. So they ended the day. So as I then, my sister gained admission to um Ekiti State University. Then, so my mom, my mom worked so 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 hard, and there are times that I'll just sit and I'll just think that this our olden day parents like. The way they forgive easily and they just let go of things is just so alarming at times. So when she worked for the school fee, admission fee, and everything, she gave the money to my dad to keep. That ah, tobati the time tomo you ba tobati fe ma lo magba magba wo ni lo we lo we ma kofun kole fiche amon koto fe fiche one week second week my mom was still asking. She won't you sure she was intact. My dad be like, oh, I intact. Why worry? To what you say, hello, oh my God. So when the day finally came and she was set to leave my mom, I think the money was around five hundred thousand that she gave to him then. So my mom now went to uh, my sister and told her, yeah, your Baba Bell, Mutiko, Owofun. Then she she went. When my sister got to him and was like, ah, oh, oh, oh. Okay, what is it? Yeah, go for me. Bumba dear lokoa. Funny enough, he brought fifty thousand naira out of five hundred thousand naira. Is that supposed to be a tight? And my sister, even my sister was like, "I've buy on the money, she ma. Can you give you fifty thousand naira? Can you give you share? What is my fear? Back pan you don't know. Doesn't she have a bank account? She doesn't. She doesn't because she she is always saying, ah. Man, kito ya kwe ilo nula ma fi loko wu si peta ba fe gba wala ni. That's why she she doesn't have an account. And my sister was like, why would my mom give you fifty thousand naira as my admission fee and acceptance fee? And then my sister called my mom, and then my mom was at work then because she's a catcher. And my mom was like, me fifty. How long will you get, mom boy? As she came, and my mom was like, eh, hey, Baba lagba ya jo. Oh ni wo aye oh ni ba je o. She lo wo ti mo ko fun eyin lo din di bi mo ye ko fun eyin ah sha ko fun mi and he was like ah ti o ba ni lo si school ko ma lo si school ijo ko joko awon to lo si school ki ki lo mu bon be ti e ko joko sile ah my mom she sat as at that point that was when i i came in and my mom sat on the floor i was crying that where would like you will i want to ferry owo yi And my sister was just like, "Mommy, oh, you have you have done your part. 
there's nothing I can do. My mom was like, Wa show this school ye. Wa lo. Me kokoto ba wa lo. So she had to few of her friends. She had to run elta. Even if the money was not complete, but at least she made sure that she was able to to go to school. But glory be to God. Now my sister is out of school. She now works in a bank. Wow. Now, funny enough, now that we are grown up and it feels oh we are working, we now have little money. Then you'll be calling. Eh, Lagwaja, Moriba Tabai. He doesn't call me. Does it funny enough? He doesn't call me. He calls my sister. Because I told him strictly that. And he told she she Lodume de Gigon. Ah, see told you. I'm very letter say a interjectunda kun issue. Don't call me for anything. If I feel it is important for me to give you, I will give you. So don't call me that you need this, you need that. But my sister is my sister is not someone that is very um hard hearted like me. She is she's um, merciful a bit than I am. So whenever he calls, Tobani Omafumo. So that's on a part why I said um men they cherish male gender than that of female gender so fast forward to 2020 um i met a guy so when i met him it was even in church i met him everything was fine smoothly in fact if not that domestic violence was involved i would have never left him like for any reason so everything was going on fine well if i need anything if i tell him if he cannot afford it you tell me i cannot afford it this is what we ca- i can afford and we walk towards it we are fine we are good domestic violence yes why were you guys living together we we're not living together but weekends i spend most of the weekends with him friday saturday sunday because of the kind of job that i do gives me time i'm working on my own so i have time for those that i'm working with and i have time for myself so i so, think okay okay i wanted to ask why does it beat you um yeah my the way see um unika lukushele tolerating kon ototoni he can just come back from work you walk i walk too and there are times that if i come back from work i might be tired because these kind of kids that i take they have i have most of them that they are aggressive hyperactive and all so i might not be able to cook for him so when he comes back you'll be like ah babe um let's just eat out today at least if it is on a friday i'll tell him I'll be around on Saturday, Saturday, so I can always make something for us to. Before I even finish finish saying that word, Omati, your wire, ah, wire. All my body, this mark, I got it from him. This mark, yes, I got this it from one, him. and this got from him while I was with him. Then, sorry to cut you. This one. How old is the guy? Twenty-seven. 27 you were probably like 20 20 20 20, 20 i was 20 you were then. 20 yes <sighs> that's go ahead please so when the domestic violence kept reoccurring as i then i, I took him to my parents that oh this is the person i wanted to marry but thank god i knew one time okay. about that so whenever we have such misunderstanding I don't involve my dad because okay. so going to are, yes, so there are times that it might be my sister that will come around or my mom that will come around to settle it and my mom will be like and you would apologize that he's sorry to not happen again and blah 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 so this one that happened was the last one that happened then i decided that no that um i don't think something i can do and uh, maybe we should just go our separate ways so we, we still communicate even till date but it can't just work between us 
So 2021, 2022, I already zeroed my mind that oh, men are scum. <laughs> I already zeroed my mind. Not until December 2022. And this one that I'm about to say, like out of everything that I've experienced, this is going to be the most painful part wow. of all because i met this guy just like i met every other guy and he approached me that oh he liked me he wanted to date me and i said there's no problem so i told him this is the kind of person that i am this is what i want this is what i want i love attention because i cannot be in a relationship with someone that will be begging for attention love cannot be one-sided it's not possible and he works in the bank too so he said ah, that's not it's not a problem that we would work out something out of his busy schedule we'd always work out something and then we started so i don't know maybe he he got my own definition of attention maybe he got it all wrong and my own definition of attention is i am in a relationship with you i am dating with you does not necessarily mean you have to talk to me for money i understand that you work that's right and i work too mm-hmm. so maybe in the morning before you leave for work mm-hmm. i'm leaving for work or i'm at work mm-hmm. i know that you are fine you are okay if you don't check on me in the afternoon it's not a big deal probably you are busy mm-hmm. at night we call we summarize how our day went and or <clears throat> and if you feel that calling is not something you want you can always chat i'll mm-hmm. definitely respond so everything was going on well everything was going on smoothly until um february i don't know everything just started and and, and the fault was not even for me because i never did anything wrong to him i was doing my part just like i have requested from from him but he, the the fault is coming from his own side and i felt maybe because of the love that i have had for him then was not making me see those negative part of his so i was always doing the calling doing the chatting and all while we were in the relationship when 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 i have friends when their boyfriends are um, posting them on their status, yes, I'm not the social media person. I go on social media, but I'm not the social media person. They post them on status and then wish them well, flaunt them. But you know, you don't judge a book by its cover until you see the content. Mm-hmm. So you might find some of them that they are flaunting their girlfriends. The relationship might not be good. Okay. It might be that one that they don't even know anything about that is going on well and all so i was at his place a particular day and i think his sister called the when the sister called the sister said ah um lagbaja mumawasi or do you toba dollar that day was on a friday because like i said whoever it is i am dating and in a relationship with i give them my weekend hmm. because my um, my relationship time is different from time for work. They are two different things. So your weekend my week- is basically for relationship. For relationship. Wedoma. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when the sister said, "Oh, are we coming to you, to your place on Saturday?" It's not as if I don't work weekends too, okay. but it's not always like me working on weekdays. Mm-hmm. So. I overheard the conversation and as I then I've not met this sister. So I now told him that oh um I will be willing to meet your sister. And he was like, willing to meet my sister for what? Who are you? Ah. Who is this one? <laughs> uh, and I'm like, ah, what sort of statement is that that he said it he like said that. It, that who are you? Who is this one? And he just said that he was choking <laughs> and we laughed over it. Okay. So the Saturday came and i think i was in the kitchen he went outside then a message now dropped on his phone then it was the sister the sister already dropped the message that she's on her way 
Okay. But I did not um, tamper with the phone or anything. So when he came inside, I now told him, your sister said she's on her way. What do you want us to prepare for her uh-huh. or anything? And he was like, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't want you to see her and this and that. I'm like, you don't want her to see me. Is it that I'm not presentable or what? <laughs> He just said, well, it's you that know, just fuck off. That was what he said, just fuck off. I said, me, fuck off. In his word. In his word. And I, I kept quiet. Then the sister came. I still even did not behave as if anything. We had an argument whatsoever. When she came, she greeted me. We talked for a while and then she left. When she now left, between me and him, he now said, for the fact that you know my sister does not um, give you the right to feel entitled uh, feel entitled to what <laughs> is it house that you have a is it car that you have that I want to feel entitled to and he was like muti sotite mi muti sotite mi no ni and he still now repeated that same fuck off and Again. he went to bed I never even knew <laughs> I'm still deceiving myself as a then. So I left on on Sunday and I still kept doing, I still kept doing the calling, kept doing the chatting, and it was like I was the only one in, in that relationship. relationship. It was not looking all well and good. I would mention his name. Olawali has never for once say while I was with him and say, ah. Babe, Mura, Jekajadi, never. And he would make me feel less of myself. Like mm. maybe I'm not presentable or be a or or something. But I still did not complain. We still kept um pushing on. Not until April when I, I got pregnant for him for the first time. April. So yes, what year? Twenty twenty-two, um, twenty twenty-three rather. When I got pregnant for him, yes, I might, I might say, I'm still a, I'm still a child, cause Lord and will be me, or no she And Timba Delele, if I tell my mom or my dad that oh I have someone already that is ready to take up my response, they will not say no. Mm-hmm. So I told him that, ah, babe, this has happened. Though. What do you want us to do? And he's like, you are stupid. She in Koto Yeko. Oh, God. And he was like, well, if you are ready, me, I am not ready. And I'm like, is it everybody that gets pregnant that is always ready? Am I God? And he was like, oh, wait, it was on the minimum, so that is not ready. So he pleaded as a, that was the first, the first time I saw him being humble. Mm. He begged me, he pleaded that I should abort it and all oh, and everything. Because I was, I was, um, I was in love too. Mm-hmm. I aborted it. So when I aborted the first one, Mm. I was bleeding. Like I think two, three weeks I was bleeding. And I told him that I don't know, maybe it was the doctor that, that performed the I don't know. But I was bleeding and I told him that this thing that I did, I'm bleeding and I'm not feeling well and everything. So he said, okay, I was going to check up on me and it was still there around that April. <laughs> I was going to check up on me. Everything is going to be fine and this and that. I said, no problem. Still that same week, mm. he now sent a message to me. I think before that day, he came around and told me that was around Easter. So they had holiday at work. The holiday was meant for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it was four days. So he told me he, he would be coming. After I already told him what happened, he told me he would be coming around to check on me. Then he would sleep over. Then the following morning, he would be going to his parents' place. And I said, no problem. He would sleep over where? At my place. Oh, you got a place yes, for yes, yourself yes, already? Yes. Okay, you were no longer no, with no, 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 I was no longer Oh, with okay. 
So when he came around, yes, he's this very calm person. Even with the look, you will know that he's calm. So when he came around, he was just moody. Uh, me, I was still even playing. Even me that I was sick, mm. I knew that I was sick and I was not feeling well. I was still asking him that, babe, what is the problem? Is it work? Um, did someone annoy you? Did I annoy you? And this and that. He did not answer me. Hey. Everything that I was saying, he did not answer me. Hmm. He just sat down there. Hmm. He was looking at me. Till later in the evening, still that same mood. So I had to go get food for him to eat. And I'm like, maybe he's having a bad day. So let me just leave him. Maybe the following morning will be fine. So the following morning came, still the same attitude. I just, I just um, overlook that attitude that I was given then. And I made a statement. Maybe I was talking, I was talking to him about my job, that I would wish to have my own place, like my own center where I can um, take these children, so I don't have to be going from one location to the other. And the next moment, he just picked his phone picked his bag and he stood up and I'm like what have I said and you have always been the one complaining that if I want to do this if I want to do that I don't carry you along so this is me telling you my plan now and he just wanted to work out then I now made that statement that if you walk out of as in as at that moment if you walk out of that room just so that the relationship is over and he walked out Mm. No. He, what were you expecting? He left. <laughs> I, even when he left, I still came outside of the room to look at him. Like, did this guy actually leave? He shook you. He left. It's not even <laughs> that he only shocked me. It was more than a shocker. Mm. He left. So when he left, since I already knew he would be going to his parents' place, I was expecting he would call that mm. and I've gotten, even if you are having a misunderstanding, let me know that you have gotten to where you are going. I waited. There was no call. There was, I dropped messages. There were no response. And I was worried. There is no means of reaching him. And all. So later at night, I called him myself. Then I was at my mom's place. I called him myself and I told him that in Yoruba, I told him that she in your to lock bolo. She was a year because I was pissed. Mm. Me that I was sick and I was still trying to um, bring you out of that bad mood that you were. So I said, she in your to lock bolo, she was she why was she why she was she was she was she Okay, say that in English. Money. Uh, okay, in English, it means someone that is sensible enough. The way you behaved today is that the way someone that is sensible is supposed to behave. Okay, so, bro, in in um um uh norm, the way you read meaning to it, that's the that's that was what you said that's literally. Said but the way you read meaning to it is mm-hmm. like. If you have brain, yes, are you supposed to behave yeah, like that? You did, yes. Thank you. So you know, said was was when I made that statement, it was like, what's the, what's the meaning of this nonsense? Is it mean that you are telling eh eh to lock polo she bu she ko wanye? Sha said a lot of things. Sha, I was still pissed. Then I I could not remember a statement that you now made that just made me just tell him that see. This relationship is already here for me. Just, just go your way. Let me go your way. And this guy is someone that, whenever he wants to come to my house, he would always tell me that whenever I want to come to your house, I don't want to see your mom. I don't want to see your sister. I'll be like, ah, what's the big deal, dear? She already in my house. She already have a joke or possible now. He'll be like, no. That when is the right time? is going to let me know and i still i still aligned with what he wanted so i just told him that i'm no longer interested in that relationship that i'm tired as i when i now made that statement my mom was there my mom was not like ah 
in Oki, you know this all this our mothers, you know the way they will talk now. Ah, in Oki, so rubbish, so in Oki, in Koki, in Waru, Kashi, in Koru. My mom did not know that I was bleeding as a den, <laughs> because I did not tell her anything. So my mom now said I should call him back and apologize to him. I now started calling. The missed call that I gave him that day, if it will not be more than 20 times that I called, he did not pick. I just left him. The following morning, I still tried calling, no picking. I dropped messages, no response. Then I was now scrolling on, on Facebook. And as God will have it, I, I, you know that Facebook will bring a um, um, list of friends that you could add. So I just saw the sister there and I just sent her a friend request and she accepted almost immediately. Mm-hmm. So when she accepted, I, I, I chatted her up and told her that I would need a WhatsApp number and she sent it to me. So I went to WhatsApp and I started chatting her that I, I still did not even open up to the sister that I got pregnant for him as a day and I aborted it. So I just told him that these are the things that your brother is doing that I don't like. And I'm not telling you to scold him. I am telling you because I feel you know him better than I do. You know things that he wants and things that he does not want. So that's why I am telling you. And I just want to be sure if he is in the house. So the sister said yes, that is in the house because she is also in the house. She also went to their parents' place. But I shouldn't worry that she would talk to talk to him about it. Then whatever he says, she will let me know. And I said, no problem. <clears throat> Till the end of that Sunday, there was no call. Even from the sister, there were no messages from either party. So on Monday morning, the sister now called. I was like, eh, Mutiba Soro. She was not even fighting me now. Mutiba Soro. Unike oti man bear attention ju. Unike oti wa clean gi ju. Oti man shpe ju. Oti ba shake it. You're calling too much. <laughs> and I now asked the sister that calling too much. Nipe mo biela arope. Shoti kuro li oti debi she. Only calling too much, pay more, be a lale, shorty daily, shorty wa okay, and just ask about how your day went. You only calling too much. The sister shall said, eh, whoa, only binuni, because our tower are gone, Jeff family ago, and me alone pewa. Cookie pewa could like it calling, chatting yet you are okay. Money pay, motibo, but she might pay me, more she shall, and my bag will pay more she shall. And you don't expect me to be online every time. Mm. Yes, I don't like seeing messages pop up and I'll just ignore them. Mm. I don't like it. But toba ti je pe nkan ti PC ma fi re ni. I will reduce it. To ba ye pe kan loju mo ni no problem. To ba ye pe ki ma pe rara I'll drop messages I'll chat him up and she said, "Oh ti ba so, oh ti be 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 be." Ko gbo, ko down. But my worry eh o ma pe e, o ma chat e. Titi ro le sha ti ko ba wa pe e ko pe mi pada bi ko chat ni mi ni pe okay no problem so i was still calm i was still nursing the bleeding and everything as i then no mm. evening there was no call no chat nothing at all so the monday morning there was no still call no messages it was the sister that now chatted me i was like i've tried my possible best should be told the sister really she tried her best she tried her best but she feels that in koto feni and she cannot force him so when she dropped the chat she was like i've tried my best talking to him he's still proving stubborn so the only thing i feel you can do is since you'll be going back home that monday evening because he has to resume work on tuesday that i can just go to his place and apologize to him whatever it is that is making him angry and blah 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 I said, no problem, I will do that. So that evening, I left, I left the house. I went to his place. I made sure it was around that evening time that I knew that, no, he would have been back from wherever he went to. So I knocked, people were around though. I knocked and the moment I knocked and he opened the door, the first statement that came out of his mouth, what are you doing here? Mm. In the presence of people, 
I just told her, look it, and I'm like, allow me to even enter first before you be asking me that what am I doing here. You now said, okay, enter. And I entered. That was how I knelt down. I was on my knee for like 30 minutes or even close to one hour, say. For what? That exactly? I was apologizing just because I said I'm no longer interested in the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> And you are saying, ah, no, consult, whoa, wait, to consult on them. So you pay all your fenari, a survey that you are no longer interested in. You know, my bed tell you, go see anything more. I just continue pleading. I was crying. I was knowing fully well that even my health as a den could not even carry all of those things that I was, what I was just doing just for peace to, to reign. Win. So after lots of pleading and crying, and uh, I said, okay, let me give you one more chance. <laughs> um, let me give you one more chance. That's what he said. Let me give you one more chance. Uh, I said, okay, no problem. I hope this one more chance, everything is going to work smoothly as it's supposed to. And he said, yes, so would, 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 that word would work out something. Oh, <laughs> And I said, okay. Let's let's just see how everything is going to go. So I the following morning I went back to the house. We still kept on even after I reduced that calling and chatting. We still it still brought us back to that same spot of always saying you are always calling me too much. You are always chatting me too much. But ma, see when you are good, you are good. Because even God in heaven knows that I tried my best. So there is this one of their neighbors that sells something outside the house. After we had that misunderstanding that we had, then we were supposed to see for that weekend. He now chatted me that he's not going to be around for that weekend. I want to go to his parents' place, so I should not come. And I said, okay, no problem, if that is how you want it. So the neighbor now called me, was not like, ah, you know, someone that they see regularly, like, I've reduced going there. And oh, the neighbor called me. I was like, ah, Auntie Kilo Shele, ah, keep, because I buy things from her. Ah, Kiri, ah, Kiri, she can go. I'm one in Kweko, Siko, Kweke, Lagwada, Sokbe, oh, Sin, Leto, Reni, Mio, Shewa. The woman was not like, ah, Lagwada, oh, Sokbe, oh, Sin, Le, She, and you told her, Le, Timo, you boy, and Tia, and you boy, and Bure, and and it totally one in me, or my girl, she jaw a little tea, she jaw Friday, when money were done. I see, I did not even react. I just felt okay, maybe a bure, a beer, brain is none of my business. So after that week went by the following week, and I got there. When I got there, put it off, it down, or for. So when I entered the kitchen, me, I've never even seen him cook. I do most of the Cooking. So when I entered the kitchen, I I just met the kitchen. It was just a mess. So I was now asking that why is this place like this? Did someone come here? And I'll throw that question to him. Did someone come here? Uh, and funny enough, as at that time, I tried this number. It wasn't, it was, it wasn't going through. So I now said, was someone here? Or were you the one that messed up? Because I know you that you don't cook. And he was like, ah, one of my friends was here. One of my friends was here. She said she wanted to um, do practical for fried rice. you <laughs> okay. She wanted to do practical for fried rice. No problem. So as I then I said I started sensing that something was wrong, but I could I could not still put it out to him that you were cheating or whatsoever. So we were, we were, we were, I guess we were sitting or maybe we were on the bed, I don't know. Then he was asleep. And now that was the first time in my entire life that I would ever tamper with his phone. And now took his phone. And now went through, and I went through all these messages. I saw series of messages asking ladies out and all. Oh, me, I confronted him as a den. Well done. I just woke ah, <laughs> babala, babala. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke him up and and even when I woke him up, 
I did not even know what to say to him. I was just crying. And uh, and when I now told him that, you knew you had someone, and you are, you are still asking other people out. These people that you are asking out, is it that you want to use them as a side chick? I be you want to use them as the main wife? Go 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 because I don't understand. Then he now made a statement that. For the fact that I'm dating you does not mean I cannot ask other ladies out now. Mm-hmm. I said, where do? And I told him that, okay, let's just assume, just like you said, that this statement that you made, so that means the same thing applies to me too. Okay. That because I am also dating you does not mean other guys that are asking me out, I cannot accept their proposal. Oh, you know, it was not like, oh, then yeah. Ah, uh-uh. Oh, being in your work, really, me. <laughs> hey, God. And we we argued over that issue that night. I cried and he still did not admit that he was, was wrong. wrong. And to me, sorry goes a long way. Even if you are faulty, you are not faulty, just for peace to reign. Because you know we have this kind of people that one more can cut down she down. But for them to say that sorry is something that is very hard. So he still did not apologize. He still did not admit the fact that he was wrong. The following day, babe, I want threesome. Hmm? I want threesome. That was how he, that, that was how he said it to me. And I didn't see it as something that was bad. Hmm. Seriously. Because I felt I was not committed to him. He was not committed to me. That's just my own. So when you now made that statement that ah babe, I want I want three some and I'm like, if you want to have your three some, go and have it. If you don't show me, you feel cool well. So then she let me let fellu. Allah marry you know. And he was like, no, he wants to have that three some between myself and any of my friends ah. that are available. If you know to. If I you me lori. Ah, I said he was no. going to have sex with, with you me and, and my and other friend. One your other my, friend. Yeah, any of my other friends, according to what he said. So he wanted you to provide yes, that your friend. That my friend. So and I'm like, oh my friends, I don't really have friends, but I have friends too. But they are not that much. And I have few that I, I talk to. I, I have few that I can relate with, even joking or not. So I said that okay, if that is what you want now. Nah, you talk, agreed to it. I agree to it. I'll talk to I'll talk to one of my friends. And he was like, ah, <laughs> and I said, okay, no problem. That I would reach out to one of them, then anything they say I'll I'll let you know. So I reached out to one of my friends, and in fact, she's vape, as in through it all because ah it's good to have friends if it, you have good ones i wanted to say it's good to have sense in <laughs> bed. it's okay <laughs> so when <laughs> i reached when i reached out to her and i told her that um babe my boyfriend said he wants he wants three some and you know there's no the rest of my friends they don't have sense you know that you are the one that is close to me and i know that you are the one that can she said that it's you that you don't have sense you don't have sense <laughs> honestly so it is you that you don't have sense. you are mad <laughs> me <laughs> she now said even if it is a random person now that it is not someone that yeah, i am dating. dating that one is it's a different case that she would do. but someone that i'm dating yeah exactly. don't say this because is that someone that i'm dating go 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 because i want to i want to satisfy him just please just do it for me she said no she cannot do it ah. <sighs> mother, be, be, be. Told me she cannot do it and i reached out to the person to wa three some <laughs> the person <laughs> that i can tell you <laughs> She said she cannot do it. And he was like, you are stupid. Is, uh-uh. she the, is she the only friend that you have? Uh-uh. And can you cook it? What do you want me to do? Shake it off for you. Why don't you wash it through some by force by fire? To do it He said a lot of things. And um, I just told him that there's nothing I can do. She said she cannot do it. In she she cannot do it. So as I then he was working 
it was I, you know i told you he was working in the bank and then the sister works in one company that they work from home like that i don't know i've forgotten the name so he was also he was also processing it that i wanted to leave that banking job to also be working at home he never told he never told me anything about that plan he did not i think it was the sister that told me so after he processed that job and he eventually got the job so he started working from home then he helped few of his friends to to um process it too so there was one of his friends that stays in Ibadan. he only told me about him i've not seen him physically before so when he processed the job for the guy the guy has to come to lagos because you'll be needed for something so you're staying there so so the guy was staying yeah, with the guy him. was staying with, okay. with him okay so he called me one night and then just said someone wants to talk to you this friend okay. so i spoke to that one normally we greeted and it was also supposed to be a weekend okay so i said i'll be coming there the following day and the friend was like okay no problem so when i got there i was still doing my everything about me i was still doing my part like nothing, nothing happened, happened. So when I got there, I cooked. I did what was expected expected of me to do. Yeah. Not until when his friend and his, his friend and himself they went out. I think they went to sort nepa bill or something, and his phone was inside. So the phone now kept ringing. The phone kept ringing, and I was wondering that any tiny phone was in Leo. So I now moved closer to the phone, and I saw. I've even forgotten the emoji used for the lady sha. But I knew it was something emoji love something something. It will not come. I never told introduce anybody see me, <laughs> so I still did not say anything. So while I was in the bathroom or in the kitchen or something, I don't know where I was. Then my mind was that they would have been back from where they went to. Mm-hmm. So when I came inside, they were not still around. So I thought he already came inside too take his phone so i picked up my phone and i called him then the phone now rang okay so i realized he already changed my name from what he used to say my name before to my normal name so when he came inside i now accused him that how come my my name was changed and he was like ah somebody that came to visit me she's the one that changed the name the she's the one that changed my own name to adiola then she now used another emoji for a new ah. i see because he still hasn't come um 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 plain to me that he had someone or anything i still did not argue or say anything mm. to cut the long story short i got pregnant again so when i got pregnant again the friend was still there and one night he just called me and was like i don't want to mention the guy's name i was like as this person said he wants to have sex with you as i then i never knew i was pregnant then and i'm like are you mad no hold on his friend that was staying with staying him with him said he wants to have sex with you he wanted that, to have sex with, with you. me he told him that and he told you he told me to have sex with his with friend and he was like, "Igba ta kuku ni ko mu eni ta le ba she tiri so mu ato mu wa." So I was, "Are you mad? Why would I?" Uh, why so would he I wanted the tree some with you and his, and friend, his friend now. now when I couldn't get any of my own friends. <laughs> he jokes. I, I said, uh, "No, I can't. Like I cannot. That's, that's the height of it. I cannot. Even my friend I accepted to do it was because she's my friend." And I trust her, that's why. So I cannot do it. Uh, and it was like, yeah, if you know that you cannot do it, that's the end of the relationship. And so be it. I told him, so be it. If that is going to end. And I could remember that time when the friend was staying. When he eventually knew that I had that girl's number. Because I wanted to know who that girl was. Yes. I don't know how manage he knew that I had it. Because I did not even call the guy, I did not chat. I just wanted to know who she was. Then he was now telling his friend that this girl is stupid. But we lost him a lot. Pick your number. Can you call her phone? You told my office or your phone. The friend was now telling me, and you know, friends too, they have their own. 
the friends will not telling me, Oh, my boy, you won't share side chico, you won't go gun here. Only tell me now, you want a real wife, oh, kiss your side chico, more my darling, we don't sign to tell him so. So after I said I could not do that with, with his friend, I think it was a week later that was when I found out that I was pregnant. So when I found out, I still did not tell him. I think it was his friend that I told. Because that night that we were arguing about doing with his friend, not doing it with, with his friend, the friend just apologized that uncle thought it only jokingly or that he never knew that he would take it serious, that he sincerely apologized, that I should just give him my number. And, and also we were communicating just normal communication so i now told the friend and the friend that is friend is like they were they are close like family friend or something so i told his friend that this is what happened though. and the friend was like what do you want to do i said well i don't even know what to do i don't know because me and that me and that all that me i know he would not accept it yeah. the friend was not like okay I now told you, don't tell, I don't want problem. Don't tell him anything till I figure out what, what I would do. I don't know the friend that's going to tell the elder sister. Okay. So I just saw the elder sister's uh, message on my phone. I was like, she wanted to see me. Mm. And I said, okay, no problem. And I went to see her. So when I got there, she was like, ah, um, am I fine? She still did not want to tell me. Um, she knew about it. She was asking, am I fine? Am I okay? I said, I'm fine. I'm okay. Before she now finally said it, that Victor said this. Ah, and I'm like, yes, that is how it is. So she now said, what do I want to do? That if I decide that I want to keep it. That Funny enough, his parents are ministers of God. <laughs> so if I know that I want to keep it, it's not a problem that she would take it upon herself to take me to their parents. But I should not have it in mind that he will marry me. Never. Uh -uh. Uh, she said it. She said, because it is what he wants that he wants. That she won't force it. And if I know that I want to terminate it at the same time, no problem that she is also with me, anything is going to cost and blah, 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 blah. So I just told her to give me time that, let me go home and think about it. And when I got home, I thought of the bleeding and everything that I passed through the last time. I said, it's not something I want to do. I would rather keep it. Isha came back and was begging. That was the second time of being humble. Was begging, babe, I'm not ready. I'm not Kinikon, I'm not Kinikon, and blah, 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 blah. That she was. Me, I now had it in my mind that this is my payback time. I am, bo? Colloquia, one, sister, see, wa, me, only yo. I was like, me, what is in my mind this time? That's what I am going to do. I told him I'm not going to remove it. He should have said, ah, babe, don't be wicked. Don't be this. Don't be, you have to remove it. You have to shake back. You have to shower. I, I, I now told him that I wanted to see him. He now said, okay, that if I want to see him, I should not come to his house, so that he will not come to my house, that we can meet in a public place or something. So we met in a public place. So while we were talking, I think he already told me, after he said he wanted threesome with his friend, he already told me that he's no longer interested in the relationship. So while we were talking, I now asked him that, what exactly was my offense or what did i do to him still came back to that same spot of you always ask for attention you always shake it come mm -hmm. i now told him that oh right, oh so you show me to more even if i will meet someone else now and the person asked me that what happened in your previous relationship is this is this the rubbish i'll be telling the person that he said i'm asking for attention and can you come, can you come? so we overlooked that one so i now told him that okay he should accept me back huh. and i said no that i would never accept it i now said why you know said because he already has somebody else me i now told him that i'm very sure that it was not after you broke up with me you met this lady i'm very sure this lady was there while i was there too 
but any which way i'm not offended just accept me back he said no hmm? he, he said no he will not accept you should just accept that you was back. what i said he said no i, I cannot I, I cannot cheat on her and i said that but you could cheat on me uh-huh. with her just say babe you are prolonging this matter i cannot you are prolonging it for you he now mm. said he now made a statement ma that statement that he made i would never and i have said it that i would continue praying to god in as much as i'm alive and i know that god answers prayer he now said that i am never going to settle for less I swear to God, that was what he said. He said that. He said to that to me, that I was in, that he was never going to to settle for less. I now asked him that, am I the, the I am less. the less? That that I I I was like, I now looked at myself you again. The less. That me. When he now made that statement, I now told him that, as long as God is in heaven. I'll make sure that a guy that I am going to meet after you left me is going to be better than you and hundredfold. Because your mama so I some So I told him that the person is going to be better than you and hundredfold. He is going to tolerate me for the kind of person that I am. Not the kind of person that I want me to be. Everybody is working towards perfection. Nobody is, nobody is perfect. Even you, I am only tolerating you. It's not as if you You're are perfect. perfect. You now opened your mouth and you made that statement to me that you will never settle for less. Mm. Uh, and while I was, uh, uh, while I was even saying all of this, he just stood up and just walk, walked out on me. I still had to run back. To go and meet him at least what do you want to if you even if you not settle for less this one that is on ground what do you want us to do about it he said he has told me and he has told me you know, that i should go and about it so i had no choice i had to terminate it so after i terminated it the same bleeding still what well, this one was even worse than it was before <sighs> i had to be going to the hospital back and forth running tests medicine everything and like i said the sister she she did her part she did because after the termination she later reached out to me because when i want when i went i wanted to abort it i did not tell her she later reached out to me i was like have i um thought of what i want to do have i finalized it I still did not reach out. I just told her that I aborted it. And I told her things that have been passing through. And she was like, no, um, don't go to government hospital. Go to private hospital. I'll pay. I'll do this. I'll do that. And I said, okay, no problem. That I will do that. And I actually went. So when I got there, they told me that my womb is damaged. And then maybe to take the grace of God to for me to be able to conceive and um, wait you were told your womb is damaged yeah. at 23 at 23 so i asked i i i asked the the doctor or the nurse in charge at 23 that um what can be done like i would do anything because obviously there is no guy or there is no man out there that would want to marry someone that cannot give him a child so the doctor she encouraged me she did that if i if i make use of my prescription if i take it regularly it might it's on that probability that it might but if it doesn't work that means i would have to go for other option maybe ivf adoption or whatsoever 
I now reached out to him. <laughs> what made me actually reach out to him was I when I heard it, I my mind was like my mental health as a then. I just I could not even do in fact I lost most most of my clients. I lost them because I needed to think through what was next for <sighs> me to to do. Mm. So I was now scrolling on my WhatsApp status. Then I now saw him posted that lady that he left me for. Mm. So he, he wrote something on that. Maybe he wrote, Thank you for being the angel of the moment I just as in that anger in me, I just went I went to his DM and said you are mad i told him that you see as long as i am not going to have one you will not you are happy look at me ah ka te wa gba mi pe ate wa ate mu te wa re ni to te ask me how to know ni sin pe okay i'm ready for a relationship or whatever e ton won ni mo fe pa fun story won ni mo fe so fun that will be convincing mm. be this is what actually happened mm. and mm. i told him that surely what you pay in you but dad shoot the lady did not offend me mm. but the both of you you will not have peace of mind but you have to buy me lo wa lo to wa lo fe to ki wa shun lo pa da fe but as long as she's the one you will not have peace of mind mm. He now sent a voice note. Eh, can you tell me shake my phone? That's what I said. Can you tell me shake my phone? Eh, and saying it as if everything is all his fault. Like uh, he's the only one that is faulty and blah blah blah. And um, I, I said, "Bugo, you told so a story. Me, I have told you. I think he now sent the voice note that I made to the sister. The sister now called me." And, uh, no, she asked me to come, and she was like, "Cursing, no cursing, does not change anything." I said, "Ma, it changes a lot of things. Even the Bible says, do unto others what you want them to do unto you. If it is that girl that you is after that is in this my own situation, show my fair." Kati wa gba wi pe ko ti e wa fe ki mo ti e wa gba i pe loto it has happened it has happened and we are still together it is a different case i know that i have a comfort i have someone to comfort me and it akoku jo daro no ni awa meji di la jo ma ru but at at this point i'm not seeing i cannot even say it to my i'm 23 My sister is 25, 26. My mom is disturbing us for marriage. Kate wa gba pe mo wa re ni to fe fe mi. Is this the story I'm going to tell my mom? Is your mom aware of this? She's not aware. I didn't I didn't tell her anything. I didn't tell her anything. So that, that's why I said no matter what it is, love is good and it is a good thing. But when you love to the extreme, don't 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 do things that will make you regret you loved. Okay, Adela, Miss Ma, I'm so sorry about everything that has happened to you. It's really painful. Sometimes people are just a victim of circumstances. Some victim of wrong foundation mm. some different things this is really painful and um i can point out your fault in all of this but i won't do that i can point out the fault of your parents everybody i'll leave it to the audience okay. to do that but the story is really painful i Now. Let me ask you. What do you want people to learn from your story? I we have we have taken so long. I have a lot of questions to ask you, but I don't want to go through all of that because that would take us like another 
also and i don't want us to do that so that people will not get bored but what do you want people to learn from your story well what i want people to learn is when you when you love someone don't make it too obvious that ah i cannot do without this person because he or she seeing you that ah any you love me only kutori me he or she is going to take you for granted. And that is what happened in my own case. It happened in my own case in the sense that I did it because I loved him, which I never even thought he loved me at the first place. Because mm. I, I said it to him over time that you love someone, you are not going to treat, treat her this way. So that's just what I want people to learn. Okay. Um the the only thing i'm going to say adiola is that you're beautiful regardless of what anybody had said to you you're beautiful you're perfect you're outspoken you're intelligent for your age you have everything it takes to to be great do not allow anybody to talk you down i feel that you you kept going back to him at the time that he, the he was yes, reading giving me the signs yes he, he has given he has said it to you you should have left at that time and i felt you gave too much but the thing is it's the doctor's report yes, yes they know it they are right but god have the final say okay and i'm going to advise you to continue you're going to need therapy yeah. i'm sure from the stable of talk to be we're going to organize a therapy for you so, so you go fun. through that and then with a lot of prayers with with time you dedicating your time to your work that is more important building a career for yourself yes. everything is going to be to be okay i am going to share your testimony by god's grace very soon of you getting married yes to the best of the best mm. and you having your kids regardless mm. of what the report is saying now mm. you're worth it you're beautiful you have everything it takes please do not i know you are hurting i know it's getting to you so bad i know it i understand it but i want to tell you that it's just the face it will pass okay and i hope every other youth out there are learning something you're good you are better than what whatever anybody is telling you at 23 they told her her womb is damaged <sighs> it is not the end of the world i know if you will not carry your child yourself by god's grace you're going to and if you will not medically there are still other things you're going to do yes. i am sure there is a man out there yes. that is worth you olawale is definitely oh, not man. worth you it's not just it's not worth you in any way okay please <sighs> it's it's i i do i i'm trying to not get emotional before people will start saying yes i know i shouldn't see the thing is come and be in my shoe see these people hear them and feels that you will not get emotional some somebody said no it's an attribute of a good presenter don't be too emotional don't be too please i get emotional i feel my guest pains i feel what they feel so it's okay to break that if i want to if that means i'm not good enough for you i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry all right, Adiola, uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. I'm sure one or two people will learn a lot from this. I, I have learned something. I am glad, I am privileged to have you on the show. This means a lot to us, to my, to all the Talk To Be team and myself. We're saying thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. And this is just a small gift to appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. So much. Really God bless. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep in touch. Um, try and read comments. A lot of people are going to encourage you. Talk to me is not to um to condemn anybody. 
I can tell you the truth wherever you are fault I can tell you but the thing is we are not condemning you yes. you are not your past you are yourself you are now you're the future so concentrate on your future whatever has happened in the past has happened so you have a long way to go and god is with you okay all right my viewers oh my god mm, this is where i'll be saying goodbye to you i know we've taken a lot of time but i'm sure you've learned a thing or two you're worth it regardless of the situation Thank you for staying tuned. In case you have not subscribed to this channel, you can subscribe to it. Every parent out there should please teach your children to know they are worth it without a man or with a man. Nobody can complete you, not even marriage. If you are not complete on your own, marriage will not complete you. Please teach your children to know that so that they don't feel if they are out of relationship, they are not better off. Please, please. And if you are a youth out there, watch it. Watch it. it, it times that you should concentrate on your career the time that you should concentrate on the works of your ends on your business please concentrate on needs leave relationship alone when it comes it comes and please appreciate it and don't overdo it so all right guys i love you you can also follow me on my facebook page abiola ayomide a day bio till i come your way very soon on this same channel please stay tuned to this channel because there is a lot to learn here i love you guys till i come your way again next week do not forget in whatever thing you're doing put god first be determined and stay focused i am dr aviola ayomide a day bio akimide god bless you all Talk to be, share your experience.